Welcome to Flash Tutorial 18, Mouse Wheel Zoom. It's very similar to the previous one, which is Flash Tutorial 17, which was Mouse Wheel Scroll. Uh, but the Zoom has some uh, issues that you have to, uh, to be shown, perhaps. Um, starting with a new FLA, Action Script 3, the width is 550, my height is 400 and I'm going with that you need to either draw a picture or import one I'm going to import one call that layer pick right here call this layer pick you would draw your your image here and the image I want you to draw or the picture I want you to use it can be um, narrower than the stage although it should be as at least as wide if not a little wider but it can be narrower than the width of the stage but it definitely should be higher than the height of the stage and our height of our stage is 400 so it should be at least more than 400 high and to follow this tutorial the height of your picture whether you draw it or import it, import it the height should be bigger than the width to follow this tutorial so it should be taller than it is wide I'm going to start off by going up to file import and I can either import it to the stage and if I import it to the stage it goes both on the stage and into the library if I import it to the library it just goes to the library then I gotta bring it into the stage so I'm going to import it to the stage there's my image you can see it's much taller than it is wide double click on it and now it's inside my flash FLA I'm going to go up here to the properties and click on this for a minute and just see um, this is the document I don't want that I want to highlight 25 percent I want to highlight this open the properties panel it's called the bitmap and you can see that it's it's about it's 554 wide which is wider than my stage and it's higher than my stage definitely higher it's 856 so a little bit wider but a whole lot higher and that's what you need to follow this to this uh, tutorial to get the best use of it so now while it's highlighted I can see it's highlighted go up to modify and click break apart and if I make this bigger, 100%, it would see how it's all fuzzy. That's what happens when you break it apart. It's all fuzzy like that. While it's all fuzzy, that means I have it all selected. Go back up to modify. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected in this drop-down menu. Make sure the center square here is selected. And call this lake, in my case lake, L-A-K-E underscore MC you call it whatever you want if you call it whatever you want then you have to translate that each time copy this name we gave it open the properties panel there's our movie clip it's called Lake Movie Clip and we're going to type in that same or paste in that same instance name Lake underscore MC go back to the timeline lock this layer I'm locking my picture layer Oh. Before we do that, 25%, uh, click on it, make sure it's, it's selected. You can see that blue line around it. And click here is my alignment panel. If you don't have your alignment panel docked here, go up to Window and find Alignment and click on it. Make sure there's a check mark here and we're just going to center it. Click this one, this is the horizontal center and this one is the vertical center and now it's in the center of my stage lock this layer insert layer call it AS as an action script and open the actions panel same thing goes if you don't have it docked go to window and click the action panel right there and there it is now type 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 this code we're going to first of all import what's called a class so import I-M-P-O-R-T that turns purple flash F-L-A-S-H small f period events E-V-E-N-T-S 
small e. That turns blue as flash turns blue, event turns blue, period. Mouse event, capital M, capital E, that all turns blue, semicolon. Now we're going to do an event listener. Stage, S-T-A-G-E, period, small s, turns blue. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue. Open bracket, mouse event, you can copy this mouse event and paste it in. Period, mouse underscore wheel, that's all uppercase. So you have to put your shift down when you type that in, mouse underscore wheel, comma, I'm calling it Mouse Zoom, capital M, capital Z. Put anything in here you wish, as long as it doesn't change colors when you hit the enter sign. Uh, close bracket semicolon, so that's my event listener. Now let's call up that function. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, turns purple. Copy Mouse Zoom, paste it in. Open bracket, E, just a small E, colon. Copy Mouse Event. Paste it in again, mouse event. Close bracket, colon, void, V-O-I-D, same color as function. There's an open curly bracket there. And way down here is the closed curly bracket for this function. So we're going to do a couple things here. There's something that's called delta. When you scroll the wheel on the mouse, one way, delta gives you a minus number. When you scroll it the other way, you get a positive number. So we're saying if if turns purple, open bracket, E period delta, small e, delta turns blue, D-E-L-T-A, small d, uh, greater than zero, close bracket, greater than zero means it's a positive number. Uh, then we got the open curly bracket, we're going to trace, and as we start typing this trace in, this closed curly bracket, which belongs to this one, should appear. If not, you're going to put it in. Trace, open bracket, E delta, closed bracket, semicolon. Copy that, paste it in here, and change the greater than sign to a less than sign. So, let's just test this out. I'm going to just check to make sure I can align it, and there's no obvious faults. Control test movie test and I'm going to you got to click the regular key first on your mouse and I'm going to push the mouse forward and when I push it forward you can see I create a positive number when I pull it back you can see down here I created a negative number so let's go back to our action script so the positive number is here the negative number is here so let's deal with the positive first Right after this trace, put a couple of enters, one, two, and type this code. Type, 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 type. I'm saying lake underscore MC. That's that movie clip we just made. Period. With small w, I-D-T-H, that turns blue. Make sure it's a sm uh, small w. Plus equals 20 semicolon. So each time we move that mouse, it's going to click, 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 click and the picture is going to get bigger by 20 pixels on the x-axis. Copy that, paste it in, change width to height. Should still turn blue with a small h, and that will satisfy the, the, um, the, the forward, the making it bigger. Now, when we make it smaller, we can copy this. Right-click, copy. Click here, couple enters, paste it in, formatting it. Actually, I want that back up there. It looks good. And now, this is exactly the same, except now we want to make it smaller, so it's minus, minus. Now, let's see what happens when we test this out. Control, test movie, test. I'm going to first click on the mouse clicker. I'm going to push the wheel away. I don't want it that big. I'm going to push the wheel away from me. And as I do the wheel, you can see the image gets bigger, bigger and bigger, because I'm tracing a positive. Now when I pull it towards me, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. 
But notice, it's not symmetrical anymore. It's lost its, it's lost its ratio. It's, it's getting too narrow too quick. And that's because of the format that we're using right now. So we got to fix that. So let's deal with this one, this section first. Let's not throw this line away. Let's just um, comment that out like that so we can use it later on if we want it. Put an enter, and we're going to type in this code. Type, 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 type. Lake underscore MC period height equals lake underscore MC period width. So you can copy this, paste it in here. It's equal to that. Multiplied by the ratio of the image. In other words, how high it is compared to how wide it is. So if we go over here, go back to our main timeline, lock in the layers. I'm unlocking the picture layer, making sure it's selected. I can see it's selected. I can see a little blue around it. Open the properties panel and write these down. The width of my picture is 554. I don't know if we did this or not. And the height of my picture is 856. So go back to my action code. And that's where I get this. So it's the lake underscore MC period width asterisk multiplied upper case of the figure number eight. 856 divided by, that's the um, forward slash, 554, which is the width semicolon. Now you can copy that. If you want we're going to put two forward slashes here enter here and paste now it's the same formula here and you can see it leave it just as it is that's what we need yep looks good to me so now let's test that test movie test Click on it. I'm scrolling in. As I scroll it in, I'm pulling it towards me. So I mean by in, it keeps its aspect ratio. If I push out, because before that would have been really, really skinny. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.